Hello there, people of the universe. My name is Mike's Fi, and welcome to Doctor Who The Adventure Games. Now, I know, I know, on my old channel, I played all these episodes, and then three times I tried to record the gunpowder plot. Let's not talk about that. But yeah, I know I have played these, so if you saw these on the old channel, then you're probably not going to be interested. But I figured for the new channel, I'd replay these, but in one video. So in this video, I'm going to be playing the whole of City of the Daleks. If you already saw me play it on my old channel, and you don't want to rewatch it, that's fine. If you do, then who knows? This is just for the sake of, I wanted this game on the channel, but I wasn't too fond of how I edited the original playthrough, if you remember, like the face cam was too big, my syncing wasn't great. I, I just prefer things how they are now, and my microphone is here. It's in shot! Okay. I'm gonna grab my sonic screwdriver. Enjoy the cutscene! Didn't even play. Yeah. I don't have my tweed jacket on this time, but it looks so much better. 1963. Such a good year. That's uh, the year you bought that outfit, then. You know, we can go to see the Beatles play in 1963, but the Ice Age is only a click away on the dial. Can I meet John Lennon? What? Not Ringo? Why doesn't anybody ever want to meet Ringo? There's no such thing as a sexy drummer. You know... I'd never considered that. Then again, why would I? 1963. The Beatles' first two albums. Sean Connery as James Bond, The Kinks, The Rolling Stones, Mary Quant, John Steed and Kathy Gale. Oh, right now, out there, London is the coolest place, not just on Earth, but the whole galaxy. No. Impossible. Did you get this wrong? Maybe this is like 2963 or something. There's no mistake, this is 1963. But how? What or, or who could have done this? Something with the power to alter time on a massive scale. Doctor, look. Human heart! Get down. The last survivor of Earth will be exterminated! Exterminate! This is literally just for nostalgia's sake. And I can't remember if this opening, because it's for a game, if it's copyrighted. If it is, then I'm going to turn it really low down. But I'm just playing this for the nostalgia and because it's nice to have a Doctor Who Let's Play on the channel because there's not many Doctor Who games out there and those that are aren't that good. This is decent. The dialogue is really nice, like 1963, but the Ice Age is only a click away on the dial. Phil Ford, Wars of Mars. Exterminate! We've got to talk to her. Wait. Now we've got to talk to her. Come on. Okay. I already know all this stuff. Okay. Oh, this actually runs so much better on the new computer. Okay, uh, I'm not going to be too bothered about finding cards. He says as he goes to pick one up. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know all this. I know, what one is it? Oh, inside 11 again. Smile out. Yep, you know all that. I don't really need to do these because I've already got them. I'm just going to pick up ones I see on my travels. The Sisters of the Water. I am really debating watching some Series 5 after this. Okay, we have to do this. Yep. Oh, his jeans look really Stop. Look out for that Dalek. Maybe we can avoid it if we're careful. That is really loud in my ear. I've got the, I've got the dialogue full volume. Stealth. You will automatically crouch down when enemies are near. Warning icons will show whether you are safe or if the enemy has detected you. Avoid coloured enemy beams or you'll be attacked. If you are detected, run and hide. Oh, dead ass, Amy. Okay. 
I forget how easy or hard this is. Steady. We have to get round. We need to be careful, Amy. We have to avoid detection. Let's move. It's really cool, a lot of the aspect ratio. I don't know if it's because new computer, new monitor, but I think, hey, that's pretty good. Climb, come on. I think we're okay. Yeah, well, that was fucking easy. You suck! This looks like it could smash through that barrier. Amy, can you give me a hand? Sure. One, two, three! Yeah. Well, not exactly elegant, but it did the job. You don't need elegance. It's dark down there. When I said I wanted to meet the Beatles, I meant the band, not the Bucks. Well, you can stay up here and meet the Daleks. But they're more heavy metal. <laughs> uh, some of the dialogue is really great. Okay. I don't know if I should talk, I should talk as 11 or not. Okay, we need to use the Sonic. Be careful down here. You never know what you're going to find on the underground. Rats, dinosaurs, yetis. The woman we saw must be around here somewhere. Don't move! Oh! Ah, there you are. Hello. Calm down, we're here to help you. How can I trust you? Do we look like Daleks? Us humans have to stick together. Not I'm the human. doctor, by the way. And I'm Amy. Sylvia. Tell me what happened. When did the Daleks get here? What do you mean? How can't you know? They overrun the Earth, the whole planet. We've sort of been away. Promise you, Sylvia, we can help you. Just tell us, please. They came out of the sky, like like they tore a hole in it. Legions of Daleks flying out of it. So many, they turned the sky dark. Thousands and thousands of them. Thousands. Exterminate! How did you survive? The Daleks defeated the army straight away, but the ordinary people fought for a while. You learn fast when you have to. You've done pretty well on your own, one woman army. The Daleks can't do this. They've never had the power to change time like this before. Change time? What are you talking about? Look, I'm barely hanging on to my sanity as it is. Listen to me, Sylvia. This was not supposed to have happened. 1963 was followed by 1964, and a whole lot more years after that. I have to stop whatever the Daleks have done to make this happen. Look, it isn't safe to stay here. If you want to stay alive now, you have to keep on the move. Let me check ahead. These tunnels are dangerous. What was that? I think it just got even more dangerous. Sylvia is safe. The Daleks can't see her, but we're going to have to be very careful if we're going to get to her. I oh, remember how much of a little bastard this Dalek was. Yeah, yeah. Which way do I have to go? I guess I have to get round him. There's a card there! Oh, oh, oh. No, I can't. Resist! Resist the tech. Ah, oh, bollocks, I'm gonna try. Yeah. Hath. Hey, man, move, move, move. Okay. Can't get past him, I've got to wait for him to come back and then go again. I, I know, I'm sorry, I should have resisted the temptation, but I couldn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I got the card. I never noticed that one before in my first playthrough. Hello, Dalek. It's the Daleks! Sensors alerted! Fuck me! That's not fair. Exterminate! Oh. Exterminate! Jesus again. That wasn't fair. It turned a bit fucking sharpish. Okay, I've got my card at least, so fuck you. Fuck you, you telly to me, bitch. You're not even the current design of Dalek. 
Because you're shit. Oh, he heard that. Keep walking, Pepper Pot. Pepper bitch. Dick. Keep walking, fat ass. The Daleks be thick. To this one, can I get to this one? I don't know if I hide. Ah! Ah. Okay, we can't make it to the second one. This wasn't this hard the first time around. Yeah, yeah, I get I get what I have to do. This is annoyingly hard. That oh, I'm an idiot. Bit of both. It's probably a bit of both. Go on. Keep fucking walking. Uh, hmm. Uh, 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 sorry, I'm yawning. I don't mean to yawn, I'm sorry. We need to catch up with Sylvia. Well, I'm fucking aware of that pond. Stating the obvious, I like it. You don't fucking see me, Dalek. Hello. Uh oh, now let's move. Move, move. Oh, card. Liz 10. Ha ha. I almost episode in ages. Oh, when I get to it, it's going to play the theme music. I think we're okay. Stop. The track is electrified. Then we need to reroute the power somehow and fast. Who remembers when in the original playthrough I said that I This is this going to take some manual rewiring. And some manual interruptions. Yeah, when I was little, I thought this was really hard, but when I played it and when I do it again now, it is actually piss your pants easier. And it's actually quite fun to do. That's that one. Okay. Green's obviously the easiest one. Uh red wait no because you've got to allow room for yeah you got to allow, allow room for all of these see and then watch when I connect the last one bum bum ba bum see easy now it's safe we better get a move on before that Dalek spots us fun fact we died twice or three times. I wasn't keeping score. Do 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 do. How are you faster than me? Up you go, Amy. I just need to set this trap. Hello, Sylvia. Oh! Run, Doctor, run! Exterminate! No. Dick. They killed her. We've got to get back to the TARDIS. There's a Dalek there. The Daleks have changed their patrols. We need to try and sneak around them. Shouldn't be too high. Okay. Can I go this Can I go back the way I came? Kind of have to. Yeah, I can't get past that Dalek. Here we go, we go around these ones. So, I am yawning like a bitch. I'm trying to remember how I do this. Hackney carriages. Read it if you like. Just sneak. Sneak. You were a pepper potted bitch and you sucked throughout the whole of series five. How do I get that card? You yeah, balls to that, the TARDIS is right fucking here. Fuck you! Doctor? Yes. Amy? <coughs> it's alright, Amy. You're gonna be alright. I felt so weird. It's going to be alright, Amy, I promise you. If I can analyze the time and place that the Daleks altered the timeline. But I don't get it. If humanity's destroyed in 1963, how am I still here? The TARDIS protects you, but we have to act quickly. Gotcha. What is it? The source of the Daleks' time meddling, it's Scaro. 
the planet of the Daleks. Coordinates set, we're going back to where it all began. And we're going to save the human race. And then come back just in time for tea. Have some scones, or scones, however you pronounce the title. So yeah, I died there quite a few times, more than I should have done. But hey, it's fine, it's fine. I think it wasn't until the second section that I originally died on the original. You know what, we're going to stop making comparisons to the original playthrough. Stop living in the past. No wonder I still dress as Dairy Tenant. I saw that. I saw that bad effect. I'll get, I'll let you off. It's all right. Nobody home. Not and they've been busy Biden. rebuilding this place too. Rebuilding? Kalan. City of the Daleks. The last Kalan. time I saw it, it was in ruins and the Daleks had fled. But now Kalan is reborn. Yeah, well, I'm still not coming here for my holidays. Don't blame you. It never stops raining, so I wouldn't go outside. Even with an umbrella, the atmosphere is 30% sulfuric acid. Ooh. No wonder they're so screwed up. Come on. We have to find the source of the Daleks' time manipulation and stop them. Whatever that takes. Can I just hit you guys with a dab? But also, sorry, I'll go kill myself for that one. This should contain an internal sensor. Could be useful if I find a way of accessing it. Well, we'll use the Sonic. I love when it does that. Like, it positions itself. Move internal sensor. Oh, these bastards. You are the best part of this game. Trust me, they get a lot fucking hard as the game goes on. Concentration, math, science, physics. You know, just once, I'd love for one of these little mini games to be called Reverse the Polarity of the Neutron Flow. Because I have a question for you, John Pertwee. How exactly does one reverse the polarity of the neutron flow? And how am I doing this with such precision whilst talking? Oh, yes! <coughs> I don't feel right. Steady. Doctor? Oh! Sorry, Amy, I'm so sorry. <sighs> what is happening to me? Time is catching up with you. What? When the Daleks destroyed humanity in 1963, you became a paradox. You shouldn't exist, but you do because the TARDIS protected you. But that protection can only last for so long. That's why we have to find how the Daleks went back in time and put things right. For all of humanity, and to save you. But there'll be Daleks everywhere. Doesn't matter. I'll find a way. But first I have to slow down what's happening to you. The Daleks have temporal technology. I can use that. We need to build a chronon blocker from Dalek spare parts. That will counter the effect of the paradox. We have to find a Dalekanium coil and a Contron crystal. Uh, like you're talking English? Uh, what? 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 Don't worry. You rest here and I'll find them and bring them back. As I was saying, I'm going to hit you guys... Did I go left or right? I think I'll go left and right. Let's go this way first. I'm going to hit you guys with a suggestion. A telcos... Oh, oh, we do. We do have to come back to the to the visualized room to defeat like the giant eyeball, the Dalek librarian. I think there's a joke about that later on. But okay, that wall could offer some cover. Yeah, but we gotta get past the Dalek. Ooh, fucking quick! Sorry, I don't mean to yawn. But what I was gonna say is, I want to hit you guys with an idea. Because it's very clear we need another Doctor Who game because there's not enough. There's barely any. Not gonna. Oh, okay. We'll not do that. We'll not do that. We'll not. We'll not do. We'll not do. Did that thing go through me? I think that thing went through me. That's interesting. That's interesting. I wonder where it, where it leads to. But yeah. Sorry. Okay. We do need another Doctor Who game. And who are very good at making story-driven games? Telltale. Or at least my experience with the Batman games go, and people have said that Walking Dead, Tales from the Borderlands, and Last of Us, all of them are amazing. So, what if Telltale <laughs> did a Doctor Who game? Yeah. And then when I suggested this to my friend Isaac, he said they could do it in a way where there's two stories to it, like one for the Doctor and then one for the Companion, because then the choices can impact each other. The decision is, though... 
So I, I, I press space to jump, sorry. The question is though, which doctor would they use? You'd think Jodie, because she's the current one, or she will be when... Sorry, I kept in space. She will be when Series 11 starts later this year. But I personally, obviously I'm going to say the 10th Doctor, but I think there's potential. I think it's a case of which story can they do, like, which... What's the word? What, what, sto what Doctor will create the best story, if that makes sense? Like, if they use 11, will that... Will you know what I mean? You know what I'm going for? A Contron Crystal, just what I need. Do now I need to find that Dalek Anium Coil. Examine. Oh, okay, that's not a good idea. But what I'm trying to say is, if, say, the story they think of suits the 10th Doctor best, or the 11th, or the 12th, or the 13th, then do it. Obviously, I'm not against classic Doctor Who games. No, of course not. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, the Dalek sensor isn't quite powerful enough to open this door and it's bypass the security seal. Wait for the Sonic! I love how Dalek technology can't override Dalek technology, but the Sonic screwdriver can. I'm not complaining. That's brilliant for my screwdriver, but I'm I'll just... get down. Why? Where's the Dalek? Oh, he's there. Thank you for the heads up, Doctor. I'll get down. I can't see you. Oops. The... Oh, shit. Sorry! Don't see me. Don't see me. Stop! Ah! Fuck me, that's scarier than it should be. He just turns and shoots. The Daleks have never been that precise with their aim. So don't fucking try to tell me otherwise. Okay, let's do this again. Jesus Christ, that genuinely made me jump. Come on, just need a little boost. Stop yawning. Ha! I'll get I'll down. down. Yeah, thanks for that, Matt. Well, turn around. I don't want to put a hole in the graphics, but the Dalek drew, drew, the Dalek did that to the Dalek storm. It didn't really do anything to it. Oh, my nan. That's my reaction to everything scary. My nan. Now escape. Let's say that again. Okay, what other parts in here can I nick? Is that a Dalek Anium coil? See? Daleks are so predictably organized. Hey, don't do not make fun of the Daleks having slight OCD. There's a card about the Daleks in there. I, I egotistical bastards. What's this way? Oh. I have both components, so I need to get back to Amy rather than explore. You know for what the doctor would, ex would explore though. I mean I, I love you, Amy, but I'll take my time. Time. Get it? Time. Doctor? Eh? Get it? Half-Life 2. Come on, let's move. Come on. Watch, watch. You don't even do anything. Yeah, pal. Wanna turn around? Thanks. He was so- I was just on the fucking- the precipice of the edge. Ah, precipice. That fucking horror game. Still hate it. Well, I love it because it was a great game, but mm, the anxiety I got from that fucking playthrough. To be fair, the fucking jump scares this game is giving me, like, fuck me. Come on. Narrow escape. Woo! Amy, you alright, babe? Doctor, please, hurry. I'm fading away. Don't Re worry, Amy. I've got all the components I need now. Time to assemble the chronon blocker. Assemble the chronon blocker by moving the two components through the energy force field. Click on the components and drag them into the slots. Be careful to ensure that they do not touch the electrified walls. Release the mouse button at any time to drop the component. Oh, great. Oh, speed of a demon. Last one. Why is this one so much scarier? Oh, f fucking hell. Success. The chronon block has been successfully assembled. How's that? A bit better. 
At least I've got some colour back. See-through is so not you. <laughs> uh, it will block the chronon energies for a while, but we have to reach the Supreme Council chamber and deactivate whatever is in there. But how do we even find out what's in there? It could be a Dalek convention inside. Ah, we can see into it from the Dalek's visualizer room. Come on. I've been at Dalek conventions. They're not as fun as normal conventions because it's literally just a bunch of Daleks. Like, the queues are fucking horrendous. And you want to see the queue for the bathroom? Fuck me. Mainly because each Dalek doesn't know how to go to the bathroom, so they need help from one another. Oh, this beautiful fucking thing. Okay, the minute it changes to the other side, I'm rushing. Fuck you, Dalek. Aim, I don't get killed. Here we are. This is where they monitor and record all Dalek activity across the universe. This is like the Dalek Records Office. A librarian Dalek. That's something I actually want to see. There's your librarian. The visualizer eye. And you know what Stickler's librarians are? We need to get to the console so I can deactivate the security beam. Those databanks look like good cover. Let's go. It's not a Stickler, it's a giant fucking eyeball. Heesh. It's the one good thing about the Paradigm Daleks, the fucking eye stalk is horrific. Okay, I was gonna read that. Just need to boost from the Sonic. Okay. Okay, let's reconfigure the console. You must reconfigure all three Dalek consoles in order to override the security system. This is the first console. Click on the Dalek symbols to match those that are incoming. Click again to patch up. To ma Sorry. Click again to match up the rotation of the symbols. My reading isn't what it was. It's not too hard. They do get faster though as it goes along. Okay, that's you. Yes. That's this, you. For a Dalek invasion, this is slightly peaceful. That's you. Then that's you. Is that one you? Yes, it is. Yes. And then that was you. This one looks like a Y one from Star Wars. See what I mean? Um, and that one. Last one. Three, two, one. Bum, bum, ba, bum. The visualizer security system is partially reconfigured. Brilliant. The security beam is narrowed. We'd better be careful, though. The rate of its scan sweep has speeded up. It's got smaller but faster. I forget how to do this. Oh, gee, not like this! I need it to move instead of just timing it right. Right, it's rotating. Keep going. Okay, where's the next data bank? Come on, now just come back this way. A bit further, go on, go all. <laughs> I blame Amy for that. I blame Amy for that. That was Amy's fault. Do I have to reconfigure the first one again? Oh, thank Christ. How do I get past it? We did see the data banks to cover. Oh, criminy Christ. Come on, keep going across. Okay, my hair looks like a mess, I do apologise. I'm just trying to do maths with hair. It's not as easy as you think. I bet the security system will be, security system will be tougher to crack now. We can figure blah 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 blah. Not so far, but it will go a lot faster. Because I need a second to recognise the symbol and then find it. Because uh, you've got to rotate them. It's not as easy as you think. It can be slightly stressful. 
Because I think... Excuse me, I do apologise. There's always a time, like, they get close together and you, and you start to panic. Um, like that. See, I'm panicking slightly. I'm like, eh! Ah, it's fine. Just want to go now. That beam is moving pretty fast. Well, as long as it, it gets the fuck out of my way. Come on, keep going. Don't get seen, don't get seen. It is terrifying though, it's a giant fucking eye, like holy shit. This encryption is even more complex, I need to concentrate. We've been concentrating the whole time. I love it just freezes it. Reconfigure console. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, first one. I love it's just frozen there. Like, I, I, I appreciate you not moving. And that one. And then, uh... Why? Yep, come on. Fuck, I realised at the last second. Sorry, okay. Come on, sort an upside down Y. Okay, there we go. Stop complaining that I'm not saying anything, I'm focused. You wanna do it? Please do, I wanna go make a coffee. You don't drink coffee, you drink Vimto. Come on. Oh! The Visualizer Security System has been reconfigured. Right. Let's see what we can see, shall we? Aha! That's the Supreme Council Chamber, all right. There's the Emperor. He is massive. That's what she said. hazard. You're sitting on a throne all the time. You're going to put on a few pounds. But that is what I'm interested in. Is that it? Whatever the Daleks used to wipe out the Earth. Well, if I was a betting man, yeah. That'd be it. That's interesting. Temporal coordinates. Interesting to you, maybe. But how do we get anywhere near that thing with all those Daleks around? Knock politely. What? Well, we... We'll have to find a way to get upstairs and talk to the Dalek Emperor. Like you, you just knock and go, Hello, Dalek Emperor, I want to talk. You don't go, Oi, dickhead, let's chat. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I've tried that with a Dalek. They don't appreciate it much. The Daleks aren't the biggest fans of swearing, I have found out. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Amy, Amy, come on. We should be safe now. Oh, because you heard the music about to kick in, but I went through the door, so I, I, I skipped an animation. Dark alarm system has temporarily locked down the door. Yeah, give it a minute. Say, <laughs> let's just. Where to now? Upstairs. Straight to the top. The Supreme Council Chamber. It's like it read my mind. Dalek technology. Wonderful. If only they didn't want to use it to kill everybody all the time. Yeah, there is that. Hot! You will be taken to the Dalek Emperor! What a stroke of luck. Just the dictator I wanted to see. Speak for yourself. You will come with us! By all means. Lead on. Would you prefer Kim Jong-un here, me? Or Donald Trump? Or Hitler? Or Saddam Hussein? You recognize me then? I should save time. I should ask a question. Yes. You have to stop. The laws of time can't be manipulated on such a massive scale. The laws of time are controlled by the Daleks. 
No, they're too powerful for anyone to control. You carry on ignoring them and time will fold in on itself. You will destroy the Daleks and everything else. Have you got the first idea of what will happen if you carry on disrupting the time continuum? Daleks will be the masters of time and the universe! No. Show me the source of your power. The Emperor Dalek does not obey orders! Yeah, but if you don't, then I will think you're a coward. Come on, show me! What use is power if there's no one to marvel at it? To quake with fear? Come on, show me. Scare me. Witness the might of the Daleks! Fear it! No. It can't be. What is it? The Eye of Time. More powerful than the heart of any TARDIS, more than the power of every TARDIS ever built. Harnessed by the Time Lord centuries ago and lost at the fall of Gallifrey. Lost? The Eye is a natural phenomenon. Some say it is the heart of time and space itself, the very core of the Big Bang. The Time Lords contained it in a powerful iron field, but when Gallifrey was destroyed, it vanished into the universe. The Daleks found it! It is ours! Daleks are the new Time Lords! The time Lords use their powers to benefit the universe, not to crush it. You were weak. Soon, throughout all time and space, there will be only Daleks! No. Your time just ran out. Uh, Amy. Run. Exterminate! Come on, Amy! Exterminate! Exterminate! I'll give this game credit, it knows how to do a spectacle like your time just ran out. Amy ran Geronimo! I do love the way the music builds up. That's pretty good. I do appreciate that the claws on the Emperor are moving, because when we saw the Emperor last, you know, we've not seen him since Series 1, like, they, they didn't move much, it was just his eye stuck, which I will say in that cutscene was up here, so... Just nitpicking, and I didn't like how in the shots of Amy and the Doctor, the Daleks below weren't moving. Ow. Still good, though. Are you all right? I'm fine. Yes. What happened? Those temporal coordinates, remember? This is Kalan, just before the Daleks returned to it with the Eye of Time. But it looks like it will be coming soon. And it won't be long before the Emperor sends more Daleks after us through the Eye. We have to be ready for them. What do we do? Set a trap. The Eye of Time isn't the Eye of Harmony, is it? I'm just... In my head, I've got an idea for a story I could write involving the Eye of Time, or maybe even Kalan. The Daleks have only set up those magnetic field generators, but there's no power. We need to improvise. Okay, well, we need these... these this coil of wire. Examine the Dalek here. It's sitting in a pool of powerful acid. If I can get connected to the generators, all I need is an electric charge. Excuse me. Okay, so we need... A coil of wire first which where is it it's somewhere I remember that let's go up here I don't think it's up here but we'll go up here anyway the empty Dalek Emperor chassis 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 however you pronounce it not so full of himself now is he get it because he, because sitting around makes you put on weight. Like he just starts off as a normal Dalek, but then he sits around being all dictatory, and then he puts on the weight. So now you can't just jump off this to get back down there. For example, this was just a waste of time. So sorry about that. Oh wait, can I examine that? This was the console that you that you used to control it. This was the console that was used to control the Eye of Time. Nothing behind there, probably. And if there is, I probably got it on my first playthrough. Okay. Right, coil of wire. The Dalek alien is sitting in a pool. Wait. No, I didn't. I didn't think that was it. I just, I, I wanted to be sure. There it is. Some of this debris could be useful. Those wires are made from Dalek alien. Whoop! And then just shrinks inside inside your jacket, which I think is hilarious. Okay, just connect the wires. These wires should connect the debris to the generators, and with a zap of the sonic, we should have our trap set. 
then all we'll need is a Dalek. Or two. Or seven. Okay, and then we go to here. And we'll give it a boost from the Sonic. Easy! Doctor. Oh shit. It's happening again. We've jumped time again. The chronon blocker won't work here. Just hold on, Amy. I can save you. I promise. Uh oh. Jesus, he sent a lot of them through. Well, that worked. Stay with me, Amy. I'm. I'm okay. Come on. We have to be ready for them. I need to check out what the Daleks are up to. I have to get up to the visualizer room. I'll see what I can do to see what I can do. Right, left. Oh, lower floor. Yeah, we have to. Oh. Stop. That's a Varga plant over yeah. there. These vines have a deadly sting. To get past, we'll have to time it carefully. Say no more. Okay, do your thing. Okay, then we get through. Of course, Amy can fade in and out of existence, so... Let's go again. Ooh, fuck. Oh! Ah! Jesus Christ, I hate when it does that. I wish Amy's NPC was just as fast as me. Okay, one. Okay, you're fine now. Now through here, Emma. Okay. And through this one. Okay, Amy, you know what? I, 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 I'm this close to giving the fuck up on you. Like, Amy, for the love of God! And now you're pushing past me. That's fucking rude. This is the... I... I... Okay. okay you, 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 wanna, you wanna move? This is the tenant card, isn't it? It's my boy! I'm not gonna read that one either. Nah, I'm not gonna be unfair. Oh, shit. Aha, here we are again. Through that one here? Yep. Um, okay, you wanna go around in circles? You fucking be my guest. Okay, examine. If I give this a boost, we'll be able to restore power for a little while. This should do the trick. Secure Kalan! Prepare to activate the Eye of Time! The Supreme Dalek. Who else? What are we gonna do? We have to release the eye before the Daleks activate it, then the natural timeline will be restored. The Daleks don't crash Earth and Amy Pong is born. Ah, uh, that's great, but how are we gonna get past that lot? Well, like I wouldn't have a plan. Everything we need is in here. Okay. Ew. Ah. Oh. No objective, think of a plan. I fucking love that, that's what the fucking thing is. This is linked to the eye of every Dalek. If I can reverse engineer it, we can interfere with their vision. We just need some parts from the production facility. Oh, I think I know what's coming. Could you pop next door and rustle me up a couple of things while I get started on this gizmo? What do you need? A cup of tea, chalky bickies? A Dalek gun and a Dalek eye stalk. I recommend looking for salvage rather than a live one. Yeah, you're so funny. Good luck. Let me open this door for you. It's funnier when you realise that my friend Tom, who we, I'm sure we all know, he restores Dalek parts as a side job sort of thing, so we could just ask Tom. He yeah. didn't see me. Looks like invisibility can have its advantages. It's not invisibility, you're fading out of the time stream. It's much more dangerous than that. Hmm. The Daleks are all over the building already. I need to be careful. Yeah, well, I'm gonna be careful. Kind of. Hello, Dalek. It's a Daleks! How far is he gonna come? How far is he coming? Okay, he's turning away. Keep walking, fat ass. Oh, fuck. I hated this bit. I couldn't. I could never get this right. Yeah! Turn and go the other fucking way. Thank you. Okay, 
Come on, go in there. That's it. That's what. That's what. That's it. There you go. There we go. Okay, give me the ice stock. Perfect, an ice stock. Yeah, I'd better not be too damaged. But no, I want to try and think of a story. Now I have to find that beam disruptor. So how do I do that? Is that back the other way? I forget. Sensors alerted! No, oh, no, it's this way, it's this way. Just run, just run, Amy, just run. Oh. Ah. I mean, I was kind of invisible, but you know what? Fuck yourself. Okay, yeah, take the ice stock. Come on, go on, do your thing. Now, fade out of time, Emma. Fade that nice ass out of time itself. You do it, Shima. Don't crouch, run. Run, you cute ginger bitch. Come on. Yeesh. I wish you could do an Arkham, an Arkham, an Arkham game thing where you just put your hand in and you explode them like the the thingy pods what Poison Ivy uses. I think they look they look exactly the same in my opinion. Good, a Dalek gun. Hope it still works. Well, if it doesn't, you can take it to Tom's Refurbishments. That's kind of a Sponsor. Well, so, sort of, yeah. No joke, if you do want Dalek pr pieces, like making or restoring, genuinely check out my friend Tom's page below. And also, if he doesn't mind my saying in this video, he has recently become a father, so... <laughs> congratulations to him. I remember I was live streaming once and he just randomly showed up and I was like, Oh, Tom, you are right, lad, how's your bed kick? I mean, don't get me wrong, it was lovely to see him. You don't fucking see me, Dalek. I'll laugh if this works. <sighs> Shouldn't have, but did. I hate Daleks, I really do. Favourite enemy, though? I might watch some Doctor Who after I've recorded this. Well, look, we're going, we've gone past 45 minutes, which... Originally, this is a 45 minute game. Although, you've got to remember, I'm an idiot and I died quite a lot. Come on, do your thing. See, I didn't do it. I could have just ran through that. Any time today would be nice. Okay, fuck you then. I ain't waiting for you. I'll just fucking run. Balls to you. Hey, Doc. You're not even doing anything. Brilliant. You found both of them. Where's the eye gone? Let's get to work. Assemble the vision disruptor. To make the vision disruptor, drag the three components across the force field, click on the components and drag them into the slots. Be careful to ensure that they do not touch the electrified walls. Oh, this, this, this joyous mini game. You One. Why am I playing with the settings task? The settings tab. Get it? Cause the setting button on most computers looks like that. Now for the last one. Yeah. Move my mouse a bit more. Come on, come on. Three, two, one. Bam, 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 bam. The components were successfully assembled. The vision disruptor has been added to your inventory. There. This will blind the Daleks. But its range is limited. Unless I can fit it into the cradle of the old Emperor. That will take out every Dalek in the chamber. Doctor, hey. I feel so strange. I'm sorry, Amy. We're running out of time. We can do this, but it has to be now. Open the eye! It's now or never. There's too many of them, Doctor. They'll exterminate you on sight. Give it to me. I can do this. You have to let me. I do like that you get to play as Amy quite a bit. 
I've got to remember I can be invisible as Ian. I have to do this. I have to do this. I need speed. Speed is key. Do you remember when this was so impossible was for me lucky. to do? This was so impossible for me to do, but this time I got around them so easily. Hi, Supreme Dalek. You suck. That was easy. That was lucky. No, it was easy. Surprisingly, how are we gonna fit this in us? Bum. This bum. had better work, Doctor. Let's do it. Vision malfunction. Daleks are under attack. Daleks are under attack. Yeah, now, hang on. I've got to destroy those magnetic field generators to free the eye. My vision is impaired. Yeah, this was fucking fun. I think there's an easier way of doing this. I cannot see! Shut up! Exterminate! Run! I cannot see! Shut up! It's I now cannot see! It's now or never. I cannot see! I don't Exterminate! I've got to get to Amy and fast! My vision is impaired! I cannot see! Amy! I cannot see! My vision is impaired! My vision is impaired! My vision Amy. is impaired! Amy, run! Geronimo! Ha, huh. now that's what I call door to door. Steady, steady, take it easy. I'm okay. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> of course we did it, look. This is Kalan as it should be. Ruined. Uh, but how did we get here? The eye just spat us back to the point where we entered it. And Earth? Let's find out, shall we? Mum, stop being such a square, will you? It's only ten o'clock. I can look after myself, you know. So what if I am late? It's not the end of the world. Now, didn't you say something about meeting Ringo Starr? No, she didn't. And there you have it, City of the Daleks. I apologise for dying more than I should have. I'm a bit out of practice. I'm sorry. That was fun. It, it was nice to play for it. Obviously, I've played it before. You've all probably seen it before. It's fine if you didn't want to watch it. But I am glad that that was nearly an hour long. Because then it's like a proper episode. So, that was fun. I am more than likely going to continue this with Blood of the Sidemen, TARDIS, etc, etc. But if you guys would like to see it... It would still be nice to know so that I'm not just doing it and no one's going to watch. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to leave a like and a comment. And of course, share with your friends as it really does help with the channel. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll see you guys back here next time. Bye.